what you're saying, uh, so it's always somebody introducing Glenn Nivet. It's not just the bartender. Correct. Uh, it's, it's very rare that you have somebody who just walks into a bar and goes, yeah, give me that, and knows everything about it. Um, Scotch whiskey is one of those drinks, almost more so than any other, that it gets handed down, the knowledge, the, right. okay, now you're a man, let's drink like men, right. okay? Um, we actually have a series going on called the Knights of Passage, where our Glen Levin ambassador goes to different markets, uh, hosts nights in which basically people hand down Glen Levin from one generation to the next. It could be, as I said earlier, a boss taking one of his uh, young pupils who's now made it in the ranks. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're going to be part of our firm, whatever the case is. We're going to drink like men. So come with me. We're going to learn about Scotch whiskey together. And it's one of those things where you're brought into the, the boys' club, if you will. Right. Is, is, so if I do want to join this, if I, if I want to be aware of those... Mm -hmm. Knights of World, you can go on to theglenlivet.com, and it's going to pull up all the information you need about the Knights of Passage series, um, the Guardian Society that we have, which is basically a, a, almost like a brotherhood, if you will, okay. in which information about Glenlivet is available online. There's different events. There's suggestions of how to serve it, um, different ideas as to what occasion to serve it. Uh, so you can, be in, you can live in New York City or, or in Los Angeles, and, correct. and you want to know if there's something going on with Glenlivet correct. that week or that month. And yep, and you'll get emails about it. Uh, there's different events uh, to, let's say we're, we're hosting an event where there's a, a new suit line being launched or something. You'll find all about that on the Glen Levin Guardian Society. So lovely. Uh, why is it? Why is this Glen Levin, eighteen-year-old, so luscious on the nose? There's there's something great to this. Basically, what you're finding in here is it's sat long enough to where it's mature. It's picked up the subtleties from sitting in the barrel. It's mature enough to be considered soft and subtle, but at the same time, it hasn't lost a lot of the body and activity um, that that it has from when it came out of the still. Are you saying that sometimes aging goes too far? Yes. There, not all scotches, um, but what you will find is just because it's older doesn't always mean it's better. Mm -hmm. And everybody's got a very different palate. There are some people who truly appreciate things that are 35, 40 years old, mm -hmm. and some people who try them and go, there's nothing here. It just tastes like nothing because it's too soft. Their palate isn't quite ready to pick out those subtleties. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so they'll tend to gravitate towards something a lot younger, just to what they're used to on a daily basis. So even though a lot of people feel that the older always means better, that's not always the case. Everybody's got a very different palate, which is why we all love the huge selection that you find in an establishment like this. Well, I, I certainly love the smell of this 18. Cheers, Cheers. sir. Slangeva. Glen Levitt 18, mm -hmm. average liquor store will retail this at what price? Right around 100 bucks. I think it's a great deal. Fantastic. Deal. I think it's a great deal. But if I smell the 21, yep. which you call the archive. Yes. Quite different. Very different. And the major difference here is the 18-year-old has the influence of both Spanish and French oak barrels that used to house sherry. The 21-year-old archive is aged um, on the the European oak side, exclusively in Oloroso sherry casks. So it tends to have a much deeper, spicy mm. tone to it. That's where those natural cooking spices are coming out of. Quite spicy, yeah. Well, you have, you have a nice job. It's not so bad. Glenlivet uh, receives uh, tourists and other people yes. who want to go and visit. Um, you can read a lot about it online. That you can. Um, the master blenders, the, the seller masters do go out Yes, to they countries. do tours, and, and if you're on the, the Guardian Society, um, you'll get updates about all that kind of stuff. Uh, we have our world ambassadors that go out. We have our master distiller. Mm -hmm. We have, for Chivas Brothers, we have our master blender go out. So there's definitely events happening all the time, Very good. Uh, and you can keep abreast of all those things via the Guardian Society. What if I want to dine with the Glendivit. Okay, here's a quick couple uh, heads up things on Glendivit 12 year old, fantastic for an everyday, let's have a drink before we sit down. 15 year old, I would say, is a fantastic pairing with any kind of a wild fowl, duck, fe quesant, fail, things like that, because it has enough of an orchard fruit that's going to pair well with the wild orchard fruit put on top of the bird, and it's also got a little bit more of a viscous texture, which pulls out some of the marbling, if you will, 
still lifting that bird. The 16-year-old, uh, the Nadura, mm -hmm. I would say is an unbelievable pairing once it's opened up with some water with any kind of a softer-bodied shellfish or a whitefish. Oh. Very light, very citrusy, fantastic pairing. The 18-year-old can really go from pre-dinner drinks through cigars at the end of the night and you never have to change it, but if I had to put it with one course, I would put it towards anything that's seen the light searing of a grill slat, whether it's a rare piece of meat all the way to well done, because right. the hint of charring in here mm. and the hint of smoke that's on the piece of meat cancel each other out, that's starts good. pulling out some of the, yeah. the other flavors. And then by the time you get to the 21-year-old, I would gravitate a little bit more towards an after-dinner drink, um, maybe almost if you're doing it with cheeses, uh, mm -hmm. or a very spicy dessert, like a, a spiced bread pudding or the Christmas cake kind oh, yeah. of a feel. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Well, you must, be, you must be cooking quite a bit at home, too. I do. I eat a lot, too. <laughs> well, you know when you appreciate good things. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Well, I hope you know more about the Glenlivet now. Uh, thanks a lot, Ross. Not a problem, sir. And, of course, we are always very well stocked in Glenlivet. Excellent. Come back here to really taste it. Slanchua.